our tail of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Mitsugaki is 30, Rivera is 32, and will have a slight reach advantage. With the official introductions, once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 10 wins, two losses, one no contest. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Buena Park, California, Francisco Cisco Rivera Jr. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 19 wins, seven losses, two draws. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Takeya Mizugaki. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. The beautiful Vanessa. Ariani and Brittany. Mitsugaki against Rivera. Here we go. Black trunks for Francisco Rivera. Red trunks for Takeya Mitsugaki. And Mitsugaki employs more of a boxing style striking. Whoa, oh, he I got hit early. Rivera tagged him with that left. Whereas Rivera much more Muay Thai oriented. Throws a lot of kicks, a lot of knees and elbows. Mitsugaki does as well, but really shines in the boxing. Clipped him a bit with that right hand too. Rivera finding the range early. Mitsugaki has never been knocked out. And he said after the Chris Carriasso fight, things started to change. He, he, Kind of tweaked his training, Joe, and he's been really good hey, since guys. then. Both men on strong unbeaten streaks. Well, that's what MMA is all about, is changing after losses, yep. refocusing, trying to figure out what was wrong, what needs to be improved, what needs to be added to your camp. And it's, it's a fascinating thing to watch guys grow and develop. And we've seen that from Rivera as well. And I think the Francisco Rivera that we saw in the George Root fight was clearly the best Rivera we've ever seen inside the octagon. That was a beautiful uppercut to the body there by Rivera. He's mixing it up nice. Yeah, Good right hand by Mitsugaki, though. It's not what happens to the man. It's what the man does when it happens to him. Over the top Mitsugaki again. tagged him with a big right hand. Oh. Rivera's in trouble. And the uppercut. Look at him finish the fight. Mitsugaki all over Rivera. Rivera is in all sorts of trouble, Mike. All sorts of trouble. Two big shots by Takeya Mitsugaki. He's holding on to the two arms of Mitsugaki here, really for dear life, trying to clear the cobwebs. Mitsugaki cracked him with a right hand. The eyes rolled back. I mean, that was, that was close. And I don't know if Rivera has recovered yet, but the more time that he can get in this position, just sort of hanging on, the better for him. And for Mitsugaki, I'm shocked he's not just flailing right yeah, here, just wailing on Francisco. He's going all out, right? I mean, I guess he's trying to pace himself, and obviously very confident in his skills that he can do it again. Working out of the half guard, utilizing the Turk for top position. But he put Rivera on his back with a couple of big shots. Francisco holding on to those arms. This is a, a huge gift for Rivera. Absolutely. And he's and look, up. He's back up to his feet again. Well, that's a huge gift for him. I mean, Mitsugaki just let him back in the fight. It's that fine line, Joe. You try to finish it and mm -hmm. potentially burn yourself out, or do you pace yourself? You never know what the right decision is here. Mitsugaki may have made the right decision. We don't know yet. Well, and again, Mitsugaki very confident in yes. his ability to do that again if they're standing. Great point. So just taking his time and already drawn first blood. Without a doubt, had Francisco in all sorts of trouble. Let's go, guys. Work.
Nice knee to the body and a takedown by Rivera, but Mutsugaki right back up to his feet. One minute. A huge big leg kick by Rivera. And that's what I saw coming into this fight was going to separate the two. It was Muay Thai, Rivera's right? Muay Thai, yeah. yeah. But the right hand of Mitsugaki changed everything. Good duck under right there by Rivera. Excellent head movement. So Francisco was in some trouble early. But it appears he will make it to the end of round number one. 20. <laughs> Knees to the body by Rivera, just falling a bit short. Nice takedown by Rivera. On top, a couple of big elbows. Yep, two takedowns for Francisco in this round. Final seconds. Good head movement from the ground, look at this. Rivera's right in this fight, Joe. Yeah, he's recovered for sure, but that's a wild first round, and he was very close to being out. We'll take a look at it in between rounds. Breathe. Good, good. Power, power. Okay. Breathe, breathe. Move around. Okay. Don't, don't grab him, but step back a little bit. You, you can take him out. And here's the big right hand of Mitsugaki. Very short right hand. Perfectly placed right behind the ear. Rivera wobbled, left hook behind it. That last right hand just clipped him. Francisco looked like he was stepping on the gas pedal. Full throttle at the end of that round, though. Round number two, Rivera Mitsugaki. Two of the hottest bantamweights in the UFC today. And don't forget, Dominic Cruz could re-enter this conversation as well. We hope the former champ comes back from that long layoff due to injury. It's just crazy how many injuries that poor guy's had to deal yeah. with. But I guarantee you he'll be better when he comes back. Could be Cruz against the winner of this fight. Mitsugaki tagged Rivera early in round one. I'd like to see Rivera get back to those kicks. There he goes, oh. right to the head. Good call, Joe. Through that question mark down. pick. Fake low and went up high with that one, Mike. Oh, oh he tagged again. A little blood from the left part of the face of Takeya Mitsugaki. Might have been that kick even as he came down. Francisco's just waddling in, or yeah. wading in rather, with his hands down. But he's done damage now to Mitsugaki. He certainly has, but he's got to be careful. Mitsugaki's still in this fight. And he most certainly hurt him, but Mitsugaki's still very steady on his feet and still has his power. Cut above the left eye of Takeya Mitsugaki. Little slip and rip for Rivera. And again, he tagged him with a nice left hook there, Mike. He just shook off his right hand, though. Did you see that? Yep. He's had problems with it before. He's broken his hand before. He's going for a guillotine. Trying to lock it up. He does not have guard, though, Mike. In order to get real leverage on this, he's got to wrap his legs around the waist of Mitsugaki, and right now he doesn't have it. And if he's burning out his arms before he gets there, very difficult to submit a guy like this with a half guard. I mean, you have to have like a Marcelo Garcia type squeeze to pull this off in half guard. And again, if this doesn't work out, he's on the bottom. And like we said in round one, Joe, again, it's that fine line. Mm -hmm. Do you go for the finish? Potentially burn yourself out if you don't get it. He, he let go, and yep. now he's on the bottom. There's just like we said. Yep, there's the answer. 
So let's see the top game of Mitsugaki. He had the half guard Turk control early in the fight round one after the big punches connected on Rivera. There's a lot of space there. Rivera's got to move. He went, he, you know, he's taking big deep breaths there. You can see him heaving. And that's because he went for it. And that's, that is the thing about guillotines. They require a tremendous amount of energy and your, your arms burn out. And Mitsugaki's letting him back wow, in. He's really breathing heavy here. Mitsugaki on top, under two. It's gonna be an interesting fight to score. Very even in significant strikes landed. Evil Levine is just kind of letting them <clears throat> hang out here. I like that he lets guys work, but these guys are, this is a, a, a weird position here. Mitsugaki Not very to active on the ground, there he goes. Mitsugaki tagged him with a good shot. Mitsugaki trying to take his back. Looking for the choke. Got a lot of time to work here. Rivera's got to get out of this position. Most of the guys who face Mitsugaki don't really worry about his submissions. It's not something that he's known for. Right. But obviously he has them. He's got one career win by submission, but that doesn't mean that he can't finish people with chokes and locks. They train everything, the modern day mixed martial artist. Cisco really pushed his cardio and his ground game for this fight. And right now he's in defense mode. Well, for a guy who's thinking about challenging for the world title, you can't allow yourself to stay in this sort of a position like right. this. He's only got one hook in. You gotta adjust, you gotta move, you gotta turn towards the choke, you gotta throw that left leg over. He doesn't have that second hook in. And now he's just sort of squeezing. I mean, okay, Mitsugaki's gonna wear himself out because it's just going across the face, but Francisco gave up the second half of this round. Right. Final seconds. I mean, he must have been absolutely exhausted after going for that guillotine. It's the only thing that makes sense. Or he's decided that he needs to knock him out and he's gonna save it all for the third round. Hey. I wanna hear about his hand. You gotta run your hands now. It's gonna be really, really close. Hey, run your kicks to the legs now. Mix it up a little bit, okay? But you gotta run those pulls. Run your hands. You can beat him with your hands. Don't think that he's better hands than you. You gotta go on your hands and beat him, okay? Listen, if this goes Go to the ground, you gotta turn game into game. a defensive wrestler, okay? I need you on top. Don't spend that round with your ass on the ground. You got me? Listen, you're doing great, but don't lose that round just because this guy's sitting on you. You had a great round until that point. Hey, all he's using is that right hook, okay? Counter the right hook with that pull. The left side, left Go side ahead. combo. The corner of Francisco Rivera looking to extend his six-fight unbeaten streak. And Joe, this is a dynamic striker who scored two knockout wins in a combined one minute and 55 seconds inside the octagon back in 2011. He'd like to connect on Takeya Mitsugaki here tonight. The bantamweight battle continues. Third and final round. In Mitsugaki and Rivera. Interesting second round, because Rivera had Mitsugaki hurt. He tagged him, went for a choke, lost it. But then the remainder of the round, Mitsugaki's on top. Mitsugaki's got his back. Didn't really take any damage, but in the judge's eyes, that could have easily neutralized all the work that he did earlier in the round. Absolutely, especially at the end of the round. Yes. Rivera, as you said, Joe, might be looking for a big knockout here, having the knowledge that he's behind on the scorecards. Yeah, he, he might have to. Yeah, and looking for a big finish. And for Mitsugaki, I mean, he would like to land that same big punch that he landed in that first round and had Rivera in all sorts of trouble. Blood now on the right eye as well. Mitsugaki cut over both eyes. But it's rolling to the side, so it's not affecting his vision. Mitsugaki just caught him with a nice straight left. 
Four straight wins for Takea Mitsugaki. Six fight unbeaten streak for Rivera. Oh, nice kick and a nice punch. Perfectly timed by yeah. Mitsugaki. Yeah, he ate that kick and landed a straight right. And now once again in top position. Rivera seems oddly lethargic, Mike. I wonder if he came into this fight sick or injured or something because this just does not seem like the same Francisco Rivera that we saw against George Root. Just the fact that he just sort of laid in that position the entire yeah. second half of that second round. Especially for a fighter who said that he really pushed his cardio for this camp. You never know. Never know. I mean, so many fighters stepping in the octagon, injured, sick, and they never say a word about it. Some of them leave as the welterweight champion. Yeah. Yeah, he had a torn bicep. Yeah, right? <laughs> How about that? Yep, Johnny beat, Hendricks. Beat Robbie Lawler with a torn bicep. Robbie Lawler up next against the juggernaut, and Jake Ellenberger. Oh, Elliberger. my goodness, I can't wait fight. to see that. Top position, very dominant, is Takea Mitsugaki tonight. Over a round of time spent in top position. Yeah, I don't know what Rivera is thinking here, but he has got to go for broke. He very likely lost the second round, definitely lost the first round. I don't know what he's thinking. And for Mitsugaki, he probably thinks he's got this in the bag. Right. Stay on top, hit him with some short punches, don't take any chances. You're a few fights away from a title shot, but you know, to win and win decisively puts you in the mix for a title shot. To win like this, not so much. And how much damage did Mitsugaki really do with that combination in round one? Yeah, it could be that Right. Yeah, Francisco is still, a still struggling with that. Yeah. Because yeah. when you talk this aggression, is, you talk Francisco Rivera. Yeah, this is really boring. And that's rarely said about a Francisco Rivera fight. He knows how to get up. I mean, he knows how to hip escape. Look, he's putting his hands up, but get up, man. You know how to get up. Get this guy off you. You got a foot on the hip. Explode. Move. You know, try to sweep. Go for, you know, dive under. Do something. I know he's tired, but if. It's way better to take a chance and lose than to lose like this. Yep. Just over a minute. Yeah, a minute to go. And Stan Levine him up. stands him up. All right, this might be Francisco's opportunity, Joe. Well, Francisco has got to do something truly spectacular here. Got a swing to finish this fight. And he got tagged. Both guys got okay. out of here. 40 seconds. This is what everybody wants to see. Rivera looking for an angle, looking for an opening. Under 30 now. And Mitsugaki faked with the takedown, tagged Rivera with a right hand afterwards. Fifteen. It's now or never for Francisco Rivera. Boy, he's winging it now. Yeah, he is. Woo. Tucking so that is chin Mitsugaki. And slinging it. What a wow. way to finish! A slugfest at the end. The fight goes the distance. Let's go back to the first round, and this is where Mitsugaki was really successful. This right hand, right behind the ear. And here's a takedown by Rivera. And there's a left uppercut and then a straight right hand behind it from Mitsugaki. And this is a wild exchange at the end of the fight where both guys were just letting it fly. Not the most technical approach, but <laughs> fun to watch. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Takeya Mizugaki!
Mugaki wins again and moves up the bantamweight ladder with unanimous decision victory over Francisco Rivera. Now it is five straight for Takeya Mitsugaki. The longest active win streak in the UFC bantamweight division belongs to the champion, Henan Barrao, who hopes to push that to eight later tonight. Then his son Sao is six, and now, as we mentioned, Mitsugaki with his fifth straight win in the UFC's bantamweight division.